come to Botswana. Wow, the runway! <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so actually the old road now is a bicycle lane. <laughs> Looks lovely with a bit of orange in the picture. Accident free A1. Act now. Hmm. And the fun big was like any volunteers. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed there's no hard shoulder. On the A1 into town, it was such a dream that we could just cycle and let our minds wander. Good morning ladies. Hello. Hey maybe. Hey. So I've just seen it's almost 500 kilometers to Kasane. Now we are going to Kasane. Wow, it's going to take us four days, five days. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I love the way you go. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. Big falls. Yeah. We yeah. came up to Lusaka. And, and then we go to Lusaka. Yeah. yeah. Where is Lusaka here? Up here. Up outside okay. the map. <laughs> After Lusaka? Malawi. With the bicycle? Yeah. Ah, ah it's too much. Really? <laughs> yes. We've got time. We have time. Yeah. I got... oh, you, you stay where? It's South Africa? No, uh, Europe. Europe. I want to go there and stay with you and work with, in your house. Ah. <laughs> Come there with a car and buy a nice house. Mm. Hey. But it must be good to live here in Botswana. Botswana is not good. There is Botswana is too much. We are poor here in Botswana. We don't have nothing. But we don't are you suffering here in Botswana? But don't you have lots of diamonds? We are. We have lots of diamonds, but diamonds are there for rich ones, so not for us. Is that true? For for the president and the vice president, not us. See, we are poor. We stay in the bush. We don't have food to eat, we don't have nothing. So are you working? We are not working. No. Where do you get your food from? To get food is very tough. If you get food, you must go and do peace job today at the farms. Yeah. They give you 100 pula. You come and buy. Maize meal is 100 pula here in Botswana. Things are too much expensive. We'll meet one day. You never know. I will take a flight and go there. <laughs> yes, take a bicycle. <laughs> the best of luck. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye, bye. Now it's very interesting to talk to those ladies because in the textbooks, Botswana goes down as the African success story. They've already celebrated their 50 years of independence. In the early stages, they did have poverty. And then, lo and behold, in the 1980s, diamonds were discovered. It was spread around the country so everyone could benefit. Huge amounts of money were invested into health, infrastructure, education. So much so, the ruling party was re-elected year after year. And now, the last President, Vice President are going down the slippery slope of corruption. They're hoping for change next year with the next elections. We're under a big black cloud. The drops have started falling. What are our chances to beat it? Woo! Guess I have to do more training. And that tree isn't going to offer a whole lot of shelter, but I'll try it.
hot downpour seems to be over. Just have a few warm puddles to clean our feet. You know, I much rather rain to 37 degrees any day. Gut gefunden, Kurt. <laughs> And don't forget to put subtitles. <laughs> Now, thanks to a bit of a shopping spree in Francistown, we have real bread. We have tomato pesto and biltong. In case you're wondering, this is a picnic deluxe. Don't always find all of these ingredients. But Francis Town was a little bit of a paradise. So while we were having our picnic, Elvis rolled up in his car for a chat. And then the heavens opened. And we sat into the car with him for about an hour. Talked about everything. Thank you, Elvis. Really appreciate it. Because it poured down with rain. There were rivers on the sides of the road afterwards. Now, Elvis is from Zimbabwe and talked about how sought after the Zimbabweans are as workers. Because they have no problem working weekends, holidays. And they appreciate the salary they get. They can buy a car a whole lot faster than they would be able to back home. So we've done about 84Ks out of uh, Francistown and according to the iOverlander app in this village you can ask at the police station and they'll let you camp in the conference centre. It's hard to believe there's a conference centre here but it's probably a, a room. So this is where we slept last night, safe from the rain, although it only started this morning. Breakfast is soon ready, we're almost packed up, life's looking good, I'm sure it won't rain forever. Look at the happy chica, it's not a real elephant but at least it's a sign. We are entering the elephant highway. <laughs> Now in India they told us, be afraid. In Zimbabwe they said, run! In Botswana they say, bless your appetite. <laughs> A bit of cramping here. <laughs> well, Darina is taking pictures and I'm going to show you what we got for our hard-earned money. Just wait for the screen when the arena sees the bathtub. Don't swim too far. <laughs> I approve! <laughs> Court is as excited. Well, what can we spot from our terrace? Oh, so two guinea fowls running away on the way here. Now you can watch the arena. Enjoying a bowl of rice. I was up all night visiting the toilet and I decided I'm going to starve these little mites inside of me. <laughs> Hopefully successfully. And uh, of course first I thought maybe she just wants to have another day in the lap of luxury. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> should even eat plain rice. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to leave our lap of luxury today. <clears throat> yeah. But that was not going to happen. Well, we had three days of pampering in the Nata Lodge. Well, pampering and Karina was curing her tummy bug. Hope she's fit enough now for the full stage. If not, let's just stop in Nata. We have to stop there anyway to do some shopping. And then we can reassess the situation there. Since we left Nata, there's been hardly any traffic. Which is actually very pleasant. And the road is good and wide enough. So I can scan the bush left and right. I spotted a little antelope. Not very exciting, but hey! <laughs> The boys are all going, huh? The rally's road. Pretty impressive. Seeing the big ones without the fence for the first time. Six of them. Hmm. It's pretty impressive. Well, you can hear the thunder, so we decided to push it another night. No drops on the lens, cool. Oh, that doesn't look half bad either. I mean, for a tent. Court just spotted a giraffe. Maybe nine o'clock in the morning, but there's still the odd animal out. There are two elephants there right beside the road and they've just walked off in disinterest actually they've run off in disinterest oh do we smell that bad court <laughs> now there is an elephant about 20 meters away I'm just going to cycle past. He doesn't seem to be moving in either direction, but I'm going to keep my distance. Oh, it's a bull. <laughs> They're big, those things. Oh. And there's just a herd of zebras after running past. This continues. You can skip the safari and the sun. Yeah, true. We had already a fear of zebras, elephants, closing up the, up the heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> I think you had a bit of an adrenaline rush with that elephant, did you, Court? Yeah. <laughs> I had you nicely set up for a picture and then you suddenly skirt across the other side of the road.
beautiful as a cyclist morning. We left the lodge and just bumped into Kako from Chile. He's now heading north with Arena. I went back into town to buy some water and met the French couple, Charles and Anclair. They're heading south and yeah. Hey! <laughs> That's what she does to you, huh? Talking you to a standstill. <laughs> no, but it was me. <laughs> That's a stretch where you should be able to see the elephants on the horizon. I don't think they like open land that much. Do you plan on staying a few days in Kazane? Yeah, like two, three days. Maybe. Still no elephants. Just a few feral cyclists. It's almost like tunnel view here. With all these tall grass. You don't see them, but they see you. It looks a bit like every afternoon recently. Could be in for a downpour. Also get lucky. It's kind of wet now. I appreciate that it's cooler. Not too sure about the water. One of the people they can go up to 4.5 meters or 5 meters. You know, not, not that big, but somewhat bigger than this And Lance, how do giraffes sleep? They can lie down. Mm -hmm. oh. You can see them lying down. Sleeping. I have a challenge. I have to photograph a sleeping giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> can you help me? Here's a passenger too. Yeah. 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 It's not just for the sand that I wouldn't want to cycle down here. a little exciting part of Africa where four countries meet. We've got the Chobe River separating Botswana from Namibia and then we have the Sambezi River separating Zimbabwe from Zambia. They all kind of meet in this little corner here. So Court, two weeks Botswana or so, what's your verdict? Well, you can put it in a nutshell, if you can put an elephant in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we came for the elephants and we saw the elephants. And lots of it. If you see them from a cheat, they look big. If you see them from the bicycle saddle, they're twice the size. Really impressive. No kidding. <laughs> and of course we got to the Chobe National Park where we saw... More elephants. <laughs> And, and hippos. 200 of them for a leopard. <laughs> so was it worth doing that detour into Botswana rather than head north to Victoria Falls it in was. Zimbabwe? It was, definitely. But uh, yeah, I'm all elephanted out now. <laughs> We're ready for a few falls. <laughs> yeah. Sambezi River, here we come. Yeah.